Hey there Pisces, welcome to your second half of July 2022 love reading. Let's get right into it for Pisces. What is happening? We have, ooh, we have seven of wands defense mechanism. Some is protect themselves, someone's being very defensive. Okay, and then we have crossing you, we have the queen of cups. So we have here um, intuitive and sensitive. So maybe someone, it feels like they're being very sensitive, very intuitive, so they're probably putting up the barriers because you know when you're very intuitive you gotta watch it too the energies let's see we have here for you oh we have an arrow and we have an open heart that's it you were very open to love open heart this could be someone coming towards you i feel like it's your energy but you know take it as it resonates and let's see we have ten of cups contentment and joy look what's coming in for you i'm so excited yes this is the general energy ten of cups that's the nine of cups plus the ace of cups so your wish and hopes and dreams come true plus a brand new beginning sounds so good and then in the past we have seven of pentacles reevaluation thinking things over trying to say what you want to do trying to make up your mind you are reevaluating the whole situation here okay then we have crown you Ooh, ace of wands Ooh, la la there's some passion coming in for you the sparks are flying the cars are flying <laughs> okay so these two fell out for the next one so we have here Ooh, the knight of cups and the fool oh my god this reading is unbelievable so okay i do think this is your energy the queen of cups like i said reverse them if you need to and the Knight of Cups is coming to you with this brand new spanking new beginning. They're coming in offering their cup. It's a romantic gesture. Okay, activation. Mm -hmm. They're activating something, all right? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me get a um, charm for this knight. And what do we have here? Oh, a fish. Okay, there you go, Pisces. You got the fish. <laughs> I like that. Now, fish is also, if you look at the Lenormand, that's a spiritual soul connection. It's harmonious. It's flirtatious. So it flows. Everything flows nicely. I'm liking this. Okay, and the next one is Four of Pentacles. Well, what are you doing here? Scarcity mindset. Someone is afraid they don't have enough. I think this is a person coming to you. They're coming as a knight. You're the queen. They might say, am I good enough? Do I have enough? for my queen mm. they're feeling like they're lacking something here okay and your energy is four of swords and this is healing and recovery so i just feel a very relaxed feeling to you i feel like maybe you are going through a healing or recovery maybe you've been um, through a brief illness or something uh, but also it feels like you're meditating you're just you're just chilling you're just feeling the vibes you know just just going with it we have four four okay now we have the ace of cups Ooh, love initiation this is one beautiful reading holy moly okay now possible outcome we have the hermit virgo energy soul searching this is the healer this is the teacher this is the student this is going within and finding out that's my felt here for you i felt that's what you're doing you're just sort of chilling and finding your way okay now we have here Three of Pentacles, a collaboration. Yes, working together with this person. This person wants a, a deep commitment with you. And we have the Death card. Major transformation going on. Ending for a new beginning, a transition, a transformation. Nice. Scorpio energy. And then we have here Six of Cups. Holy moly. Six of Cups is memories and reunion. This is, this, if this does not feel like a past life connection, I don't know what does. I am getting chills by just saying that. Now, as I said with the past life, it, like sometimes people don't want people from the past coming back. Sometimes it's a past life connection. And it's new to you right now because you didn't meet them yet in this lifetime. But you knew them in one more, many, many, many lifetimes. Be different for everyone. Wow. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy. I do the dance of joy. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, let's see. I know, that's corny. Let's see. Um, Seven of Wands. Let's see. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Ooh, deception. See? You're worried about deception here, but I don't see it. I don't feel it. 
Maybe it's from something previously happened, or maybe it is this person. Maybe the person's come back changed. I don't feel deception. I don't. I know you're on your guard, but I don't think it's necessary with this. But to each his own. It will be for some, because this is a general reading. And for the one that I'm tapping into, it's not. And for someone else, I mean, maybe you're, that part of the reading might be for you. So really take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For someone here that I'm tapping into, this is a really nice connection. And if you don't want this person, then that's the deception card. That part of the reading's for you. But if you want this person, you're into this person, go for it. Let's see here. The Queen of Cups. Karmic partner. Okay, there's a karmic partner involved here. Um, maybe there's someone trying to keep this from happening. Okay. That could happen. But you know what? It's meant to be. It's meant to be. And this is meant to be. So they can't do diddly squat. Okay, now what about this Ten of Cups? Fifth dimension. See, you guys have already been connected many times. Fifth dimension. This is definitely a soulmate twin flame connection whatever you want to call it whatever you like to you know name it. it doesn't matter to me okay now what about the seven of pentacles a victim okay so someone is reevaluating this because of them feeling this victim um, mentality here is like the eight of swords being stuck where you don't need to be stuck there's a you can let like, you can free yourself from this and for some of you you were I'm not I'm not trying to say you weren't but this is, um, for someone that has the deception or this, and you know, you don't want this person. You definitely don't want this person. But who I'm really tapping into is this connection that's supposed to be. Look at that card came flying out. There's fear. There's fear about starting something new. Uh, either the fear come from their side or fear come from your side. But someone's afraid because it's so intense. And that's what happens when there's like a twin flame connection or a soulmate connection like that. It's so strong. It's so intense that it scares people. Okay. I'm looking at it. Why is this card here? That's right. Two came out. <laughs> Saying, why is two there already? I didn't do that one. Okay. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Right? Knight of Cups? Pretty sure. Yeah. Knight of Cups and the Fool. Union. Bingo. Okay, what about this Four of Pentacles? I mean, I don't have to explain that. What about this Four of Pentacles here? Grief. Yeah, someone is stressing over not having enough or there's a scarcity mindset. So this is putting someone through the ringer here. Okay, what about this Four of Swords? Why is the Four of Swords here? Barrier. Okay. Someone has their barrier up. Someone has blockage here. Maybe you, someone can't find you. Doesn't know how to contact you um, because you're not sure of something. Okay, and you're you're recovering. You're resting. Maybe you took a little vacation or took a little time out, and that's the barrier. Okay, take it how it resonates. What about this um, Ace of Cups? Ooh, someone has regret from what happened in the past. So this someone here is trying to come back. They're afraid to come back. They're, they got grief. They have um, fear. They have a lot of regret. What about the hermit for the possible outcome here? Free will. Okay, yeah, you have your free will. Now, that's another thing. If you don't want this person, you have the free will. You don't have to take them back. But for someone here, there's a really nice connection. And for someone else, no. I mean, there's... Oh, this is a general Eve reading, so there's a bunch of energies come in. And um, the one that feels the strongest is always the love. Love is always going to conquer anything else. Love is going to conquer the fear. Love is going to conquer any negative. So that came on strongest. And then after that came in this other negative energy. Okay, what about the Three of Pentacles? The answer is yes. To go get together with this person, collaborate, yes. That's for the person that really feels. If you don't feel right about it, if you know you don't trust this person, then the answer is no for you. What about this death card, Scorpio energy we have here? Receive, yes. Whatever you asked for, whatever you prayed for, Spirit has received it. And, you know, it's bringing what you need in. So whatever you ask for, whatever you manifest, what you think about, you bring about. What you ask for, you're going to get. So make sure you ask for what you really want. And someone feels a numbing here. They could feel a numbing from how intense this is, 
or someone could be numbing themselves. Someone could be doing drugs with this or drinking. That's what that could mean too. So take it as it resonates. Okay, let's see. What's the word? Our first person is what? Do we have? Okay, yeah. This is... No. Well, who do we have here? Oh, the queen. Yeah, I forgot. I had two here. Queen of Cups. So let's get the word on the Queen of Cups here. What's the word on the Queen of Cups? We have revealed soulmate and a third party well that's that karma thing this person is a connection for you this is a soulmate connection that's what's coming up but we have a third party probably trying to break you guys apart you guys do connect on the fifth dimension too so don't forget that how about the knight of cups let's just keep on the knight of cups we only have two people here okay we have player oh no sexual married okay so is this person really was a, was a player is a play this is what's coming in so someone might be a player hmm, definitely you know i don't feel that for everyone so because this union this new beginning this all feels good i don't know why we have play unless they were player in the past they were married in the past maybe or i don't know again only take this if it resonates right here this feels amazing to me i'm surprised the player one came out but it might be for someone it has to be for someone otherwise they want to gave it to us so all right let's see here what signs are we dealing with for pisces i mean it could be your soulmate it could be the one for you and you know they still could be a player what the heck you know we can't control people Let's see. What are the signs? Capricorn? Libra? Gemini? Pisces? Scorpio? And Leo. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Scorpio, and Leo. Now for the letters. We're going to do 11 letters. And this will be for initials for first name, last name. You get both the first and last name. And you know someone's middle name. You get that initial, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own. We have, oops, sorry about the bang there. S, B, D, N, K, W, R, S, Q, M, and H. Okay, so your letters for today are S, B, D, N, K, W, R, S, Q, M, H. Now, let's go for the names. What are the names for Pisces? What are the names that want to come out? Now, remember, if you want the names in here, I um, the instructions on what to do here is, a, is on my channel page there. So just um, check it out, you know, because people ask for certain, you know, say, I don't do certain um, groups or something. I do whatever you give me here. And like, it's all up to you. This is all put together by viewers. So whatever names, it's only first names. Okay, so we have Miriam, M-I-R-I-A-M, -I -I Bobby, Chris, Marilyn, Alan, A-L-A-N, Gagan, G-A-G-A-N, Callie, C-A-L-L-I-E, Judy, Kayla, Avery, Kendall, Raft, R-A-F-T, and Tyrell, T-Y-R-A-I-L. Thirteen. Alrighty. There you go, guys. Those are the names for today. Alrighty. So um, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please 
take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please um, let me know if anything resonates. Please leave me comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.